Hi everyone, Adrian from Audio Excellence Canada, and today we are continuing in the series of your favorite videos, the unboxing. Well, there's a special treat. Um, this is um, the premiere of the new Sonus Faber Serafino Omar speakers. Actually, I think the full name is just called the Serafino G2, G meaning Generation 2. Um, I was in at Cedia in October of last year when they uh, showed these speakers to invited dealers and press, but the embargo is January the 17th, 2023, so we're not technically allowed to talk about these until then. So today is January the 3rd. We just received this pair. Uh, the other ones, the Amadi and the Guaneri, haven't arrived yet, so we'll just show you what these look like on the day of January the 17th. So here we go. By the way, Tristan, come around this back. I want to show you something. Let's show you how new this is. Uh, look at this. What does it say? Serial number 12. This is the 12th pair that came off the factory. Uh, assuming that each pair has the same serial number. If it's not, if it's like 12 and 13, then this is the 6th or 7th pair that came off the factory. And it's finished in Wenge. Okay. I don't know which is the top and the bottom, so we'll just assume. We'll take out. Okay, let's look at what the accessories say for now. Okay. Oh, looks like it's missing a manual. <laughs> There's somebody forgot. Okay, these are the spikes. I'll uh, pull them out. That's a spike. These are the floor protectors. So, spikes will go in here and they protect the floor. These are the covers, so once the spike, uh, let's see, once the spike goes in from the bottom, this goes on top to finish it off, so it looks nice, you, you don't see the threads. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'll show you later. And these are the grills, so anyway. Now, I'm going to assume that's the bottom. So, watch out, I'm going to move this. Okay. Yep, I'm okay. Yep, thank you. By the way, everybody, this is Cece. Hi. And Tristan behind the camera. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so we'll walk this out. So the spikes go like this. And then this goes like that. And there you go, it's finished. And we'll do a bunch of these in a moment. Just want to show you what it looks like. So I don't know if the light shows how beautiful the finish is. Maybe we'll walk it over. Do you want me to get the light? Can you get a picture of that? Does it look good? Yeah? It's stunning. The gloss on this finish is incredible. Multiple layers of finish, hand sanded finish, hand sanded over and over and over again to get this kind of a finish. And you have the maple inlay, right? That's beautiful. Uh, the other thing, while we've got this, uh, Sonus Faber in, um, I think from the Nova series on up, has something called the exoskeleton or exoskeleton as they call it, I think. At the bottom, you have a solid piece of metal. At the top, when I take it off, you'll see also a solid piece of metal. And then in the back, you have this metal structure, this rib, which serves as not only the port for the air to come out, which you can see right there. You see all the horizontal holes? But also, this serves as a brace. So the entire structure works like a clamp. This cabinet is made of wood, so when you clamp the wood down, you also reduce the resonance and you also move the resonance to a higher frequency to a point where your ear is not quite as uh, bothered by the uh, wood resonance. And this is done on purpose. Sonus Farber has always believed that wood gives music a more natural feel. So they've chosen to use wood instead of some other exotic materials like what Wilson would use or what Magical would use. They've always chosen to use wood. 
And so uh, this is their way of dealing with wood resonances. And while we're here, let me show you also some of the other special things that Sonus Faber does. You will notice that their binding post is not your typical round binding post. It has a little flange over here, so your fingers can easily tighten it. You see that? Because you've got something to tighten against, right? And if I'm not wrong, this is the first time I'm opening it, so let's see if I'm right. Yep. Let's see if Tristan can come close and see. Can you see the engraving over there? What does it say? I can't see. My eyes are getting so bad now. Does it say Serafino? What does it say? Sonus Faber. It says Sonus Faber. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those little tiny details that the vast majority of um, owners and even dealers may not notice. But it's a small little detail, small little item that is so important to Sonus Faber. It shows the kind of care and uh, dedication and concern that they have for their product. You see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let me put this back. Okay, ta-da! So, this is the new uh, aesthetics for the G2 series, or in this case, the Serafino G2. The top has this little logo, SF. Before, it was, some people called it the um, uh, a cigarette holder. I think we have a pair of Amadis in the back. I can show you what it looks like. The new ones are much cleaner. Um, I think aesthetically quite a, bit, quite a bit more beautiful. The other thing also that's different is the top, instead of being uh, a color, I think it was natural silver or natural chrome, now it's got this matte uh, gray, which I like. It's a bit, of, a bit more subdued, but I really like that. Same with the bottom. You'll notice that the bottom has got the same gray finish. And then, of course, you got the chrome feed as well. Uh, my understanding is that the uh, all the drivers are new. So you have new woofers. A mid-range driver, you'll notice that the face plug is completely different than the old series. The tweeter, I don't know that much about as yet, but we'll find out about it soon enough. And while we're at the tweeter, let me, for those of you who don't know, point out um, a unique innovation that... Uh, Sonus Faber has received a worldwide patent on. You'll notice this arch here, this metal arch that almost looks like a bow. And then right at the center, I don't know if, um, if you can catch that. If you look in between this arrow and the dome tip, you'll notice that it's touching. Can you see that? Okay. Right? Now that is what they call the damped apex dome. Sonus Faber discovered many, many years ago that if they had something that could just be in contact with the apex of the dome, it would solve a lot of the problems that soft dome tweeters have. Number one, the high frequency distortion. When, when tweeters, soft dome tweeters play at the very high frequencies, they start distorting. By having that right touching at the apex of the dome, it stops or minimizes the distortion very substantially. It also allows the soft dome tweeter to go up and the high frequency is much higher. So typically, soft dome tweeters without any kind of um, modification or without any kind of um, uh, addressing of those issues start rolling off fairly significantly from about 12, 13, 14,000 uh, cycles. In this case, it goes all the way up to about 32, 33,000 cycles. That's something that uh, Sonus Faber has, as I mentioned, a world patent on. Um, there's more technically to this, but for now I'll just leave it because this is just the unboxing video. Oh, one more thing. If you look at the front here, notice it says Sonus Faber Serafino. Oh, one more thing. I forgot. Got to show you the grill. Where the speakers come in this really nice cloth bag to protect the finish. And this is the Sonus Faber grill, which they invented, I want to say back in the... Uh, late 90s could be wrong but they invented this and since then it's been iconic so unlike a normal speaker which basically has a frame with a cloth grill over it so what you just basically see is just cloth this is a beautiful piece of architectural engineering while it does not protect fingers from touching the drivers, 
uh, it serves a beautiful purpose in that you know you're not supposed to touch something, and at the same time, it looks beautiful and elegant. There. So it works like the strings of an instrument. So um, if you look at the top, this is, looks like a cross, cross section of a lute, um, a musical instrument, an acoustic instrument, and then these are the strings, just like a guitar. So there you have it. Um, anyway, we'll be breaking these in, um, and uh, both CC and I will be teaching both CC and Tristan about the intricacies of listening to audio, the good things, and so on, and they will give you their impressions of these speakers along with myself and with um, Lewis, who is out helping a client. Anyway, thanks for watching this incredibly boring, un uncreating video, and if you complain at all that unboxing videos are boring, the question you have to ask yourself is, why are you watching us? And if you don't realize that this is just us having fun, then you don't get it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Adrian from Audio Excellence, CC, Tristan, and Lewis. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Okay, great.